Hello, welcome to Paul's Take. And this is my take on a 2020 Ford F-150 STX 4x4 with EcoBoost. This thing is a truck. Let's see what. Ford, have you driven a Ford lately? No, I have not driven a Ford lately. I used to have a F-150 a long time ago in the galaxy far, far away. It's probably like a 20, eh, no, not even 20, maybe 19, 19, uh, maybe 90, 95 or something like that. And this one is four wheel drive, got a nice clearance. The styling is, I don't know, very 40. Now I'm a, I'm a Dodge guy, I'll be honest with you. When it comes to trucks, all about Dodge Ram. I used to have one for a, a year, <laughs> a whole year. But it, uh, I worked the hell out of that truck. So, to me, the Fords, they're America's best-selling vehicle. Ford Tough. But they didn't really do much for me. Style apart. The new ones are better. I like how they imprinted the F-150 on there. Got a nice little gate to it. It's really light. Much lighter than my, my Dodge I had. Yeah, okay, so it's gonna pad. It's a bed. It's a bed. That's what beds are for. I don't know. Yeah, but that, that the, the tailgate is very light. Very impressed. This one has four doors, I think. Does it have four doors? I don't know. There is this thing that looks like a door, but there's no door handle. How do you get in? I honestly do not know. You just have to get this one in. Let's see, open this one up. There's the front door. How do you open the back door? Ugh. Huh. There's got to be a way, right? It does open. Huh. I'm confused. Let me see. Is it on the clicker? What is that? Is that a thing? Oh. Oh, check it out. A suicide door. I had no idea. As you could tell, I did my research. So it's got a suicide door. Oh, I guess the, the, the handle is one handle for the inside and out. It's just one handle. Like you normally in a car, you have a handle for the door. And then you have a handle on the outside of the door. Well, the back door doesn't have that. It just has one. It's this little thing that sticks out, and you pull it back, and I guess when you're in there, you pull it forward. Because he has his seat up. I don't know if I can... Oh. This is my friend's vehicle, and I appreciate him letting me borrow it. Let's see if I can make some room. Ah, whatever. Obviously, I mean, it's, it's, this, is, this is a... Uh, not the full crew cab. I think this is considered a smaller cab. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, there's not much room in the back. It's probably for kids only, for emergency purposes. But they do have some uh, power outage. Your uh, cigarette lighter adapter and your something. Oh, USB. Okay, vents in the back. Yeah, it's, uh, it seems nice enough. Let's take a look at the front. Let's close this door again. And uh, let's see, so it's got controls on the doorknob. On the door, the door itself, the doorknob. <laughs> it's got the lock on the side. I think it's that way, it's not on top, so you could put a put a coat hanger and tap it. You gotta get to the side of it. Which is kind of an odd spot when you're in the car, in your Ford, to have the doorknob thing, or the door locks over here. That's weird. It's not, I don't know. I don't really think I like that. This controls your lights, has automatic, so you don't, never have to worry about it. It's got, uh, this one has uh, uh, fog lights and a sunroof. No, I don't know what that is. Oh, I turned off the lights in here. Let's see here. Let's turn on this car. Let's check out all the bells and whistles. I apologize that we're at night. 
but unfortunately I tried to get here earlier, but I did not. I failed. I failed. Okay, so this one has a traditional, remember these, these are called keys. Not a key fob, but keys itself. Pretty nice. Goes into a key hole. That's what those are for your, for your kids. Just never seen one before. It's like primitive, even though it's a 2020. Ooh, let's see the graphics. Let's do that again. Let's check out the graphics. That's pretty neat. Turn on your car and built Ford Tough. Have you driven a Ford lately? So check it out. What was interesting about this? This thing is a full size F one fifty, and I couldn't. I couldn't. I was shocked to see. Oh, what's that? The gas mileage twenty four miles per gallon average that is amazing for a four-wheel drive pickup truck amazing i can't even believe it I'm, I'm really can't wrap my head around it so it's got 493 miles for until you get to empty where are we at oh yeah it's pretty full that's a lot of range the uh dash is pretty uh traditional like you know it's fine it's fine basic but it's cool graphics in the middle but it does have this really cool, cool radio and information and stuff. So you get your volume. It's a really nice feel to it. You can't turn up the volume because copyright. Different stations. Oh, this has got, we got the uh, FM window, Sirius XM radio. Nice. Two wheel drive high, four wheel drive high, four wheel drive low. I promised him I would not take it off roading. We should totally take it off roading anyways, don't you think? Ooh. Climate control. Ooh. These knobs are really nice, they're rubber. They're a little loose, but they're they got a good feel to it. So I give them I give them credit. And the heat. Max cool. Okay, okay. Okay, so the seats are uh, cloth and they're comfortable. And the uh, the dash, it looks very 40. It looks like a Ford, like the same type of, the overall design looks very much like the one I had in 1995. Pretty much the same. A little different. Oh, there's some little things over here. What does that do? What is that? What does that do? Oh, I push a button. Oh, trailer disconnect. Oops. Oh, that's for your, your trailer uh, functions. Cool. All right. Anything else? We got, uh, Steering wheel looks about the same as my old one. More buttons on it, but the style is about the same. It's very 40. If you're a Dodge guy, you'd be like, ha! But it's, it's it'll do. It'll do for a Ford. <laughs> but the great gas mileage, I can't believe it! All right, let's go take it for okay. a Okay, let's try out this EcoBoost. I hear so many things about it. And let's see if it lives up to the hype. Oh, it's got a nice reverse camera. That's really nice. Very nice, very nice. Let's see, let's check my mirrors. Even though I have a reverse cam, I don't need it. The engine is very quiet. I'm not even sure if it's on. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn on this, uh, keep this headlight on. Just because it's nighttime, it's dark. But if, if you don't have it on, you're not gonna see me. And that would be a, that would be a crime. Yeah, the motor's so quiet. Very quiet. But it doesn't have a, you know, sometimes you hear little ticks and little things that make it feel cheap. I don't, I don't, I don't feel any of that. I'm gonna try to turn on some AC. Hopefully, uh, it doesn't affect, oh, it's probably not. I don't want to get too much fan noise. Probably a little warm. <clears throat> All right. So, so far, at uh, five miles an hour, it runs wonderful. Can't say enough about it. Five miles an hour, this is your vehicle. Now right, let's see. He says it's fast, right? And I told him I would take it easy. I would uh, not push it, not take it on dirt, just take it easy. Just just give it a nice little drive and get a feel for it. So, zero, one, two, three. Holy madre! Good golly! 60! What was that? Oh! 
that was acceleration. That was some good eco power, what's it called? It? Turboing. Show me a little straight. Let's see here. That was impressive. That has some serious juice. He said there's some nodes on the side of here. Let's see. Oops, that's not mode. That's water on the windshield. Here's over here, nodes. Drive mode. Trailer. Snow. Eco. We don't want that. Sport mode. Ooh, sport mode. Uh, truck. What's that all about? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hello. Sport mode on a truck is insane. Oh, 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 oh. It's, uh, it's pretty good, you know. I mean, uh, truthfully, I'm not driving very fast. I kept it at below 10 miles an hour. He's probably going to watch this. I kept it below 10. That's all I got to say. We asked, we didn't push it at all. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I'm in the... Oh, I ran off the road by accident. How'd that happen? Where is the road? Oh, oh. Okay, let's see here. I think I somehow managed to accidentally go off road. The road ended somehow. Oh man, we're all twisted sideways. What in the world? stuck oh, let's try well since we're stuck we're on the accidentally went off the on the driveway or off the road the shoulder let's put it four-wheel drive still in sports mode in four-wheel drive all right let's put it, pick it off two-wheel drive we'll put it on two-wheel drive all right let's go back on sports moding Oh my goodness! This thing... This thing is fast. It actually handles very nice, too. I didn't want to like this truck. I don't want to like it just forward. But it's ego boost. It's exhilarating. And it's uh, very uh, composed. Like, uh, you still feel like you're in a truck, but I feel like you don't really well handling truck. I don't feel like I'm going to lose it or anything. See what he breaks. Oh. Brakes are strong. Oh. Oops, I think I knocked over some of his stuff. No, I didn't. Yeah, the sporty mode is actually kind of overly torquey, so I want to take it off sport mode. Put it back onto normal. I wonder how it feels to be in eco mode. Trailer. Eco. Oh, there we go. That's for you. That's a nice mode for cruising around the neighborhood. Keep your gas mileage well. Ah, this thing is nice. Well, this thing has a thousand gears, apparently. I think it's ten speeds. Wow. Okay. Feels pretty nice. Oh. AC's on strong. All right, so let's be honest. I'm driving around in this Ford. So I haven't driven a Ford lately. And now I have. And what do I think of the performance? Well, let's, let's go with let's go with style. Style, I still gotta give it the Dodge. I still, I, st I still think the Dodge is a nicer looking truck. Not that this is a bad looking truck. It's a Ford, and uh, you know, it's, a lot of people like Fords, and it's fine. Um, it feels a little, it looks a little more light and bright. I don't know, but uh, I would say overall, the looks on the exterior goes to Dodge. Sorry, goes to Dodge. The interior. Well, there's different levels. So the, the high level Dodge, I've been to a bare bones Dodge 
and I would say it's pretty comparable to this. And I see the high-end Dodge, and they're really, really nice. Really fancy. It's like a luxury car, like a Bentley almost. So I would say overall, the, ex the interior goes to Dodge. But this is still very livable. Don't get me wrong, this is not a bad looking truck by any means. Interior, up, exterior. It's a it's a very nice looking truck. Um, but I would still I would still say that Dodge has a nicer interior and exterior. And they usually come with those really big wheels. Now performance, I gotta say, that's the big difference. Performance wise, I think this is a nicer car to drive for one. It just feels I don't know, it feels like a, an easy car to drive. It seems like it handles better. The other way, it feels more trucky. It, uh, it's smooth and heavy, but I think overall, I would enjoy driving this one more. I think it has a more likable driving feel. It doesn't sway as much. It, uh, it feels a little lighter. The motor is, is, is very smooth. You know, but the you might like the rumble of the Dodge, which is understandable. You get some pipes when you do that. But I say that uh, on a daily basis, if you're not trying to get attention, I like the way the engine sounds, performs, and oh my gosh, this thing fast. This thing is. If you got the need for speed, sometimes this thing will satisfy without a doubt. This thing feels like a rocket. Um. And the Dodge, they feel, you know, they're strong too. You get the, you get the big Hemi in there. It's gonna, it's gonna pull as well. But I've seen them compare. They have races. That, that the EcoBoost wins every time. And I feel like it's just, like I feel more controlled in this than I do in the Dodge. You know, I mean, granted, I'm only keeping this thing about ten below the speed limit. Um, I feel like I have having more control over this, uh, this, this, this Ford. For an F-150. So I think practicality wise, livability, gas mileage, oh my gosh, I can't believe the gas mileage. 24 miles per gallon, average, not highway, average. Dude, that's insane. That's that is that's better than like a Jeep Compass or Patriot or something. Kills my liberty. I'm gonna say it's way better gas mileage by my liberty by almost eight miles per gallon. Probably, yeah, like eight miles, that nine maybe. This is amazing gas mileage. I mean, you could drive this thing as your normal commuter and not feel guilty about it. And you have a truck that can tow a big camper in the back. And you can race people. That's always important. So, yeah, I mean, really, if, to really break it down, when it comes to, when you really include the gas mileage and the fact that this is four-wheel drive, it's fun, it's cool to drive, it's comfortable. You gotta go with the Ford. You gotta. You have to go Ford. Unless for some reason, I know gas is cheap right now, but it's not gonna stay cheap. Um, unless, I don't know, I, I actually think overall, it's like it's like guilt-free because of the, because of, to the gas mileage. Because of the gas mileage, it's guilt-free performance. You got a guilt-free big truck. When I had my Dodge, I was getting 13, maybe 14 miles per gallon average. That that hurt. That that didn't make you feel good. It didn't hurt, it hurt my wallet. I feel like I was destroying the economy or the the, the uh, you know the, the ozone layers or whatever, the air and pollution and stuff. This one, and you know, it was really breaking the bank. This one is it's amazing. Amazing gas mileage for a truck, for anything. I mean, for a deep that's that's fair for a car. And now you got a four-wheel drive. Oh man, I'm sold. I hate to say it, but this actually makes more sense than even my Liberty. You know, I think about a Liberty and I think about a big, big truck. I'm like, I don't want to get that. I don't want to waste the gas mileage. This thing is killing my car in gas mileage, and it has four-wheel drive, and it has a bed, and it's got room. Dude, it's no brainer. All right, it's going kind of long. Thanks for watching Paul's Take. That's my take on the Dodge. No, ah, the Ford. Sorry, if I had a Dodge for a long time. I can't help it. The Ford F-150 2020. It makes total sense. It's a total logical choice. Can't go wrong. 
Dit is voorzitter,